In this lesson, we'll practice converting from centimeters to millimeters, and that's the way we can solve this problem that says the square has a length and width of 2.5 centimeters. What's the square area in millimeters? And now this should illustrate very clearly how the value of the metric system really makes your life easy and why it's really important to use it in your measurements and your work. So look, check this out. So here's a conversion factor. First we need to go from centimeters to millimeters and look at the conversion factor. One centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. It's just that simple. There's, there are usually powers of 10, 100,000, or tenths, hundredths, or thousandths to get from one unit to the next. So that's easy enough. We have 2.5 centimeters well we don't even need an equation like that so we know it's just we can do that in our head we can say 2.5 centimeters well we'll just do it is equal to 25 millimeters it's just simple as that we multiplied it by 10 or 2.5 centimeters times 10 to get our 25 millimeters then from there to get the area of the square so the area of the square whoops equals 25 millimeters times 25 millimeters equals and we'll just do that here so uh, 25 times 25 equals 625 625 square millimeters is going to be the area in millimeters like this right here. I'll put it up here. 625, cannot see that. Let's see, square millimeters, it's that. There, there's that little squared term right there. We'll just cancel that one out like that so you don't see it. All right, so it's square millimeters for that. So really, but the key is converting from millimeters to centimeters to meters, kilometers, things like that is really easy because it's these easy factors of 10 or 100 or 1,000 or tenths, hundreds, and thousands. And that was really the point of this lesson. All right, I'll see you in the next lesson.